Welcome to my monthly video about market analysis and portfolio update, which I call investment dossier. My name is Pedro Nunes and I am an editor popular investor. Since the beginning of the year, what is driving the markets? It's the high level of inflation, the consequent response from the Fed and the fear of a recession. And we saw in July, the market going up with a perspective that inflation had reached its highest level and that the Fed was not going to rise interest rates at a high pace. But recently, despite the signals that inflation was at its peak level, we saw Fed officials and even Jerome Powell saying that the fight against inflation was not done and that was still a long way in that fight. And so the markets started to reverse some of the gains from July. With the Fed staying strong on their path to fight inflation, there will be a slowdown of the economic conditions. Jerome Powell don't refers to a recession. He refers to more slow growth, but many analysts are referring to the possibility and others for the certain of a recession. And this is what is driving the markets. In this global contest, what we are seeing is that the United States have a much higher valuation than other geographies. Europe, where the consequences of the Ukrainian war, mainly at an energy level, are much stronger, but the US valuations are higher than the ones in the emerging markets or even Japan. The risk premium regarding all these different geographies than the US market, but also the bond market gives non-US equities a more attractive risk to reward scenario. And this is one of the reasons why in September I made this kind of rotation to other geographies. We must bear in mind that the situation in China is completely different. China is in a different stage of the economic cycle. They have not a big inflation. They need growth. So they are easing their monetary policy, lowering interest rates. Of course, China has a real estate market problem. They have also the problem of the COVID lockdowns, but is expected that following the National Congress of the Communist Party in October, it would be easier to ease the lockdown scenario because the Chinese population views the lockdowns as a way of protecting lives. So if the decision is after the Congress, where it's more than certain the continuation of Xi Jinping, it would be easier to go in this kind of direction of easing the lockdowns. Like before, maybe we will see that the China economy or, or the consequent recovery of the China economy will help the recovery of the world economy. But besides this geography rotation, in the September portfolio update, we also made some changes in the portfolio regarding American stocks. We have many undervalued stocks 
and we try to search from the undervalued stocks what are the best business and what kind of business may develop in this environment. For instance, we are seeing that the cybersecurity sector is very resilient to the present moment. It's a place where companies feel they cannot cut the expenses. It's necessary to find the best risk to reward stocks in order to have the best results. In this context, with a downward pressure, the FX market is also a way to protect the portfolio. But despite the high probability that inflation has peaked, another thing is for sure, the inflation is at a very high level. So the price of commodities and the price of gold could be good opportunities to manage the portfolio in this scenario of still high inflation. We have positions of oil and gold regarding this objective. Despite this short-term scenario and mid-term scenario, we maintain our conviction of a long-term scenario based on equities, based on time in the market in order to prepare the portfolio for the next recovery. If you like these ideas, please check my profile on eToro.